Training Program. My name is Karen Smith. I'm the Distribution Coordinator for Tourism NT. Uh, today I'm joined by my colleague Gabrielle Deacon. Some of you may already know Gabrielle. She's been at Tourism NT for a while now. Um, just to remind before we start, um, just to have your videos off. Everyone looks good at this point and just to keep yourself on mute. Um, that would be great. Uh, so welcome everybody. It's great to see that we have got uh, lots of New Zealand and Australian agency today. We're all going through various stages of COVID lockdowns and restrictions. Um, so hopefully it's easing for most and we hope that you're all doing okay. So I'm just going to stop my video and share my screen so I can do my presentation. Uh, Gabs, can you see that okay? Yep, that's perfect. Great, thank you. Um, so today we have got three of our op NT operators on board. So thanks for coming along, guys. We've got Shana board from Kakadu Air. Kakadu Air operate a variety of scenic tours out of Jabiru and Coinda in the Kakadu National Park, as well as out of Darwin. We have Rao Italiano from TFE. TFE have got three hotels in Darwin, <clears throat> including the Adina Apartment Hotel Darwin Waterfront, the Vibe Hotel Darwin Waterfront, and the Travel Lodge Resort in Darwin. So thanks for coming along, Rao. And we have Tim. Johnson from Matt Wright Explore the Wild. So Matt Wright run a variety of tours and accommodation in the top end as well as uh, which include the top end safari camp which is about an hour and a half out of Darwin as well as jet boating and um, air boating on the Darwin Harbour amongst others which I'm sure Tim will tell us about. So thanks for um, joining us today and welcome everybody. Um, before we hear from our operators I just want to take you through a few updates with the Northern Territory. So uh, where are we? I'm sure you all know where the Northern Territory are, is but if you don't we're at the top and centre of Australia. We refer to two main regions in uh, the Northern Territory. We have the top end which is Darwin, Kakadu, Arnhem Land, Catherine and Tiwi Islands and we have the red centre which includes Uluru, Alice Springs, Kings Canyon and Tennant Creek. So COVID-19, well here in Australia we almost feel like we're on the homeward stretch with COVID but as you know things do change very quickly. So you may be aware that the NT has had um, an outbreak in the last couple of weeks uh, around the Catherine region. They've got about 60 cases recorded at the moment. Um, so hopefully things, uh, I think things are uh, on the improve there. Uh, just the latest update with the Northern Territory and border restrictions. So from Monday the 20th of December, uh, all fully vaccinated arrivals into the Northern Territory will not need to quarantine. So they will need to do a rapid antigen test on an arrival at the airport. This is free, they just do it when they arrive. Um, they also have to complete a border entry form. Once um, the uh, rapid test comes back negative, which doesn't take very long at all, they're free to go. So anyone travelling from a red zone, which I'll cover shortly, uh, they will need to produce a negative PCR test, which is just a standard COVID test that's obtained within 72 hours before arrival. Uh, anyone arriving into the NT who is unvaccinated and who is not a returning resident or hasn't had an uh, approval to enter the NT from the chief the Chief Health Officer will be required to leave. So this is really important to understand. They don't get to go into quarantine, they actually have to leave the NT. Um, so the current border restrictions are now being referred to as the red and green zone. So we were talking about hotspots in the past, but um, these have just been changed recently. You can see here on the map the current situation, and this is until the Sunday the 19th of December, but as you know, things do change quickly. Uh, New South Wales, the ACT, Victoria, South Australia, and the North Island of New Zealand are all considered red zones. So to enter the NTU, you must be vaccinated. You need to do the uh, COVID test 72 hours before arriving uh, and you need to do your rapid antigen test on arrival, but then you need to do seven days home quarantine and then submit a negative test on days 5, 7 and 14. For WA, Queensland, Tasmania and the South Island of New Zealand, which are our green zones, you must be vaccinated to arrive. You need to do the <clears throat> the COVID test before you arrive within 72 hours um, and then you can self-isolate until your rapid antigen test um, comes back negative. So it is a little bit complicated but um, from basically the, the thing is from the 20th of December everyone that is fully vaccinated can arrive quarantine free. Um, 
and that unvaccinated arrivals will not be allowed into the NT. Uh, there's heaps of information about this on our website, coronavirus.nt.gov.au. Um, if you're a little bit confused with it, I'll just get in touch with me and we can I can take you through it. But um, but it's really positive for the NT that um, we will be that everyone will be fully vaccinated, which is great news. Uh, just to touch on our seasons, as you know, we've got the two main regions. They've both got very different seasons. In the top end, we're currently in the tropical summer. It lasts until April. It's quite hot and humid at this time. Um, temperatures get up to about 33 degrees, so it's quite similar weather to Asia. Uh, we have the most amazing tropical storms and the waterfalls and the wildlife are really coming alive at the moment in uh, Kakadu and Litchfield National Parks, which is really great. In the red centre, uh, we're currently in summer, like the rest of Australia and New Zealand, the temperatures get up to about 35 degrees so it's pretty hot and it's a dry heat too so um, just need to make sure that your all your clients are aware of the weather before they come up just so that they can pack accordingly. Uh, I just want to touch on a couple of campaigns that we've got in market at the moment. <clears throat> we've got the NT summer sale this is just a reminder to our Australian based agents this is running until the 31st of March uh, you can save your clients up to a thousand dollars on their bookings of NT products if you book through one of our campaign partners Hollow World or Viva Holidays or Holidays of Australia and NT now if you're not working for them then you can still book through them the details are on our website which is trade.northernterritory.com slash summer sale or you can get in touch with me and I can help you um, work out who you want to get in touch with to start working through them. <clears throat> so for every thousand dollars that they spend they will get a $200 rebate. This is a really great option if you've got clients who are wanting to come to the NT and do some, some of those higher price point activities. They have a really good savings they get a really good savings with this. Um, customers must over 18 must be fully vaccinated to come uh, to get the rebate and obviously with the rule changes at the end of the month they need to be fully vaccinated anyway. So what's in it for you as an agent selling NT product, you'll go into the draw to one one of our 15 $5,000 price packages to the NT. So that's $1,000 for flights and $4,000 for NT products. Um, we have one up for grabs every month and then we'll draw 10 at the end of the at the, the campaign. So we've just drawn our October winner who was Lorraine Stone from Holidays of Australia. So congratulations to Lorraine. Um, another campaign to market at the moment is the Get Out There. It's focusing on the Red Centre um, and packages can be booked through NT now. They have got a variety of great packages on offer for this campaign, but they've also got some really cool charters on offer um, and they are coming into the NT from around Australia. You can see here on the picture all the different um, departure cities that they have these packages on offer for. And they're also eligible for the NT Summer Sale rebate. Um, so check out either the Discover Austra Central Australia website or the NT Now website for more details on those. Um, we have a new module on our website um, to be completed. It's the best of the Red Centre and it's highlighting 10 of the best things that you can do on an itinerary, itinerary to the Northern Territory. So that includes camel rides, Segway tours, the Field of Light, uh, visiting Kings Canyon or the McDonald Ranges, um, or going hot air ballooning amongst others. So just a reminder that you need to complete that um, to go into our draw to win our quarterly prize. In terms of flight updates, we've had some really positive news um, regarding flights coming into the NT as with anywhere a lot of the airlines have had um, a reduced schedule, but with Jetstar, uh, we have uh, flights coming in from Brisbane to East Rock. There's um, currently two a week for Melbourne. There's going to be two a week from the start of January uh, and five a week from mid-January. For Sydney, from Sydney, there'll be three a week from the 20th of December when our border, change, uh, border rules change. And then from mid-January, we'll be having seven per week, which is great news. Uh, just in terms of um, coming in from international, plans to commence the Sydney Down flights on the 20th of December. Uh, we'll have the 20th of December. And then also flights with Qantas. We have the London uh, flights leaving from Melbourne and Sydney, which are flying via Darwin, which will be running until at least March 2022. So that's great news for us. 
just want to touch on a couple of um, new products that we have in the Northern Territory. We have um, 007 Adventures. They're already running a jet ski tour on the Darwin Harbour. I've talked about these before and they've recently launched this new product, which is the Off-Road Adventures, which is the ATVs. These tours are running out of the Charles Darwin National Park, which is just a 15 minute drive from Darwin, so nice and handy. You don't need experience to um, to drive one of these ATVs and they've got four different um, tours on offer. These are two, they have two and four seaters uh, and the tours run between one and a half to two hours and they start at $169 per person. So um, we also have Darwin Gourmet Tours. They are running, um, it's a new walking tour product and they offer lunch and dinner tours. They run for about three hours and it's an easy walking tour around Darwin. Each of the tours visit at least three restaurants and they take in some of the best restaurants on offer in Darwin, which is um, which include Hanuman, Fat Mango, Little Miss Korea, Wolf Island and Sample Rocks. The tours are pretty flexible, so on the day they will decide if they include a bar or they'll chat to the people on the tour just to see what everybody wants to do. And they also visit a few historic sites on these um, tours, as well as some of the street art that's around Darwin. So the tours start at $149 per person. They include a non-alcoholic drink. Um, obviously, guests can buy a drink, um, alcoholic drinks at the restaurants. Uh, there are people over six can attend, so you can take the kids. Um, and there's a maximum of 11 on each tour. So it's really a really nice small um, tour group size. Um, so we have also have Wildman Fishing Tours. This is a new company. They have a variety of fishing tours on option, which suit nearly everyone. Um, this tour, which I'm going to talk about, is a really cool one. It's called the Fish and Feast. They do a full day of fishing and mud crabbing. And then the day finishes off at Honeyman Restaurant in Darwin, where they will cook up your catch and serve it for dinner. Um, Hanum, as I mentioned earlier, Honeyman's one of the really great restaurants in Darwin. So um, a really cool option I, I've thought um, to share with you. It, this tour includes transfers, lunch, snacks and drinks, and then the five course dinner and the seafood banquet at Honeyman that day, as well as the full day fishing. So quite a good bargain, I thought. Um, we have another couple of other packages with ethical tours in the top end. <clears throat> There's the best of the wet tour. They run from February through to April. It's 2,305 per adult. It's a comprehensive three-day tour around Litchfield and Kakadu National Parks. They stay at uh, one night they'll stay at Mount Bundy Station, which is a, which is a working <clears throat> cattle station. The other night they stay at Coordinate Lodge. So quite a nice um, three-day, very comprehensive. Take you to a lot of little places that you might be aware of. They also do the three-day country cowboy package, which runs from May to September. It's 2,700. 50 per adult and this is three days of exploring some really awesome areas and products around the Catherine region so they'll go to the Catherine Outback experience uh, you'll have dinner at the Marxy Stockman dinner camp um, where they have recreated the vibe of a 1920 Stockman camp uh, you'll visit the Catherine Mataranka and Bitter Springs hot pools as well as doing a sunset dinner cruise on the Nutmullet Gorge uh, and they visit the top ditch cultural experience as well so there's a little bit of everything in there which is a great wee package. And just some updates with the Kings Canyon Resort and Glen Helen Lodge. They were recently uh, purchased by the G'day Group who are investing $20 million into doing some significant upgrades on both the properties. It does mean that the properties will be closed uh, for a period of time. So in Glen Helen they're doing a $5 million upgrade and uh, from mid-January through to mid-March there'll be some closures there. And Kings Canyon Resort is currently closed. They're doing a $15 million upgrade there. So that's going to be amazing when that's done. I'm looking forward to seeing all those changes. Uh, and just an upcoming event, we, I've talked about this before, it's happening at the moment, it's the Million Dollar Fish. Um, they've just released an additional 12 fish uh, with $10,000 tags uh, into the wild for this. It's called the All I Want for Christmas is a Million Dollar Fish campaign. So there's currently eight fish tagged with a million, million dollars in the top end and 112 fish have been tagged with the $10,000 tag. So seven of these have now been caught. So if you've got clients who are interested in fish, this is a great time to send them north to uh, on a on a fishing trip. And just to talk about our 
prize packages that we have for this trade training program. So congratulations to our latest winners who are Vanessa Conrad Grigg from Travel Managers in New Zealand and Janine Mahieu from MTA Travel in Victoria. They won the $5,000 packages from our last quarter. Again, this quarter we have the same prize package up for grabs. It's $1,000 for flights and $4,000 <clears throat> for MT products. So you just have to have attended a webinar and complete a module to be into one. So that is it from me, unless we have anything else. Um, Gabs, were there any questions that came up during that? Um, we just had one question about commission levels with working um, with the NT Summer Cell and the campaign partners. So mm -hmm. we do have FAQs um, on our website that I've just added to the chat box there. Generally, they will charge 10% uh, commission. However, I do recommend that you still touch base with the campaign partner and see if there's any room for negotiation. Great, thank you. And get in touch with me if you need the contact details of um, the campaign partners. So I'm just going to hand over to Shana Board from Kakadu Air now. Shana, are you um, ready to go? Morning, yeah, I'm ready to go. Thank you. Beautiful. Um, so I'll just share my screen first of all. All right, can everyone see that correctly? Yes, we can. Yep. Okay. So, all right. All right. Okay. So, Karen, can you see the Kakadu Air presentation up on the screen? I can. Yep. Mm -hmm. right, perfect. Good. Okay. I uh, just want to say good morning to everyone. I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, thanks to Karen and T Tourism and everybody for being here. Um, firstly, I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today and pay my respects to their elders past and present. Um, I extend that respect to the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here today as well. Um, to first of all give you an overview of Kakadu Air, uh, I'd like to start with a bit of fun and take you on a flight with us. Um, our most popular at the moment is our 60 minute wet season flight um, going over the world class waterfalls of Jim Jim and Twin Falls. So sit back and have a look. How awesome is that? Um, for those who are unaware where Kakadu Air is, it's located in the Northern Territory, approximately about three hours west of Darwin. Uh, so Kakadu Air operates out of both Darwin and Kakadu National Park. We've got hangars and terminals in both locations. Um, so a little bit of information to get you acquainted with Kakadu. Uh, so Kakadu is almost 20,000 square kilometres. Uh, that's about half the size of Switzerland. At Kakadu Air, uh, we fly approximately over 200 kilometres, um, the majority of which is inaccessible by land. It's home to 10,000 crocodiles. That's one croc every two square kilometres on average. Um, and for more than 65,000 years, the Aboriginal people have lived in Kakadu and are the oldest living culture on Earth. Evidence of this can be found in the rock art in Kakadu with some of the oldest paintings up to 20,000 years old. Uh, so now that we've touched on the area of Kakadu, we can tell you a little bit about ourselves here at Kakadu Air. So Kakadu Air was founded in the 80s by Bob and Nair McDonald, uh, who both held the Kakadu National Park close to their heart. After their retirement in 2018, um, Kakadu Air changed hands and was purchased by four passionate Northern Territory residents. Um, so we offer a range of scenic flights uh, that suit any traveller's budget. We've got short scenic tours which depart daily um, and all day adventure tours from Darwin. Our scenic flights and tours include recorded and live commentary um, and everyone is guaranteed a window seat. We currently operate 364 days a year. The only day we close is Christmas Day um, and we have a fantastic time. Uh, in 2021, Kakadu Air actually celebrated 40 years of operating scenic tours um, and 
offering visitors the chance to see Australia's largest terrestrial park from the air. As well as the 40 years that we celebrated this year, we've had the absolute pleasure being named uh, winners of the 2021 Major Tour and Transport Operators at the Brolger Awards. Um, we also did get the Traveller's Choice with TripAdvisor, which was fantastic to receive both in one year. So there's a couple of different seasons in Kakadu. Um, Kakadu, we recognise that there's six different seasons. You're probably familiar with the Northern Australians, two seasons, the dry season and the wet tropical season, uh, which our flights are based off. But Kakadu's traditional owners recognise six seasons uh, based on thousands of years of local knowledge. Um, each season has different attractions for Kakadu visitors. Some of the areas of the park are closed by the flooding during the summer, uh, but here in Kakadu Air, we operate year round. A couple of our different tours that we have. So we have the day tours, and we've also got our scenic tours. Um, our full day tours depart from Darwin and they focus on the very best that Catherine and Kakadu have to offer. Um, we focus on the cultural aspects of the National Park and highlighting the culture of the traditional owners. So our day tours offers visitors a comfortable way to visit Kakadu and Catherine without the need for vehicles or long drives. Um, it's a 45 minute flight um, from Darwin compared to a three hour or three and a half hour to Catherine and Kakadu. All the tours from Darwin um, are all inclusive, so they include a scenic flight, lunch and a cruise. Um, so we've got uh, three different day tours running at the moment. So we've got our Kakadu cultural experience. Uh, we've recently added the Kakadu cultural experience to our portfolio. Uh, this tour gives visitors a full day experience interacting and learning about Indigenous culture. So we closely work with Indigenous owned companies with Kakadu tourism, Kakadu cultural tours and Aboriginal bush traders. Our experience enables an authentic cultural experience, uh, leaving guests with a greater understanding of the unique connection Aboriginal people have with their country. So we include uh, scenic flights to and from Kakadu. You get to view the West Arnhem Art at Marawoodi Art Gallery. They have a cruise on the East Alligator River with Kakadu cultural tours, um, and they visit the culturally significant Ubia site to see the rock art. Um, lunch is provided um, by Aboriginal bush traders and can be overlooked, uh, enjoyed overlook the floodplains at Ubia. Uh, so our next tour that we have, this is our most popular day tour from Darwin. It's a Kakadu in a day. Um, it incorporates all the big must-dos of Kakadu. Um, it's really great for people who are time poor um, or just only have one day to visit Kakadu. Um, so the long journey times are gone as it is a 45 minute flight. Um, we land directly into the Kawinda airstrip, which is a two minute drive from the entrance of the Yellowwater Cruise. The Yellowwater Cruise is a, a famous billabong out in Kakadu. Um, we have a 90 minute cruise going through the Yellowwater wetlands. Um, as they come in, there's a delicious lunch already pre-ordered and waiting for the table for them. Um, and they finish the day by visiting the Warrigin Cultural Centre. And our last day product is our Catherine in the Day Tour. Um, our Catherine in the Day Tour is designed to take in the beauty and culture of two national parks in one day. So we fly over Kakadu, um, land into Catherine, and we connect with Catherine for a well-planned day. Uh, it's filled with the must-do experiences. So we go on the Nitmalik Gorge, um, we head into Catherine Township to have a look at the art galleries, and we also have a lunch at a local operator as well. So for our scenic tours, um, our self-drive visitors are invited to explore Kakadu on our scenic flights. We've got departure points from Jabiru and Kawinda inside the park. Uh, they're given a once in a lifetime opportunity to experience the park and is it's always ever changing. No flight is ever the same. So as I said, we've got the two departure points, Kawinda and Jabiru. Um, we have these locations for the convenience of the guests flying with us because we base them where the accommodation is. So Kawinda um, is a dirt runway strip um, and Jabiru is located in the heart of Kakadu. Um, Kawinda is positioned near the South Alligator River adjacent to the Yellow Water Billabong. Um, the Kawinda flights operate in the dry season, um, April to November. Um, Kawinda is a stunning contrast. It's got rivers to permanent water holes, uh, rock formations and ancient escarpments. Uh, we depart from Jabiru airstrip all year round. Um, the dry season changes with the temperament. Um, floodplains recede to reveal lush isolated billabongs and there's a lot of birds and wildlife in dry season. Um, our 60 minutes wilderness and waterfall scenic flight is our most popular tour in the wet season. Um, 
you'll see the falls as they come over the escarpment, which only happens after the three months of monsoonal rain. So this is our most popular tour. Um, it's a 60 minute tour, and it's the only flight that we do that go and see Jim Jim and Twin Falls. Um, so a little bit about our target markets. So we've got two main markets. They're from our Darwin Day Tours and our scenic flight. They're just a little bit different. Um, so from Darwin, we've got, we mostly target high value travelers. Um, that being said, it's the solo travelers 18 to 49 and 50 plus. Um, most of them live in the metro cities. Most have a bit more time on their hands um, and they'll spend more on those big ticket items and ease of travel, such as heading out to Kakadu in the one day. Um, our target markets from Jabiru. Uh, obviously, these are self drive. Um, these are self drive markets. Uh, we have the high value traveling with children and the 50 plus self drive. These markets we target because most of them are the grey nomads, either travelling around Australia in the caravan, uh, or they're doing that bucket list trip with their kids going into Kakadu. Um, a lot of what we target is that you know most of Kakadu is inaccessible by land to see, to see a whole big picture of it is to get a scenic flight. Um, we've had some great feedback at Kakadu this year, which can be shown through our Traveller's Choice Award. The massive positive reviews that we get on TripAdvisor um, and social media demonstrate the, that we are succeeding in providing great customer service. Um, we pr try to provide the best possible experience by attention to detail, making sure everything from guest, guest safety to guest comfort is perfect. Most of our staff and um, all of our Pilots understand our company culture um, and expectations. They bring a high level of customer service by always going above and beyond guests. Um, we're a pretty inclusive company. We cater for all guests of ages, fitness levels, um, and mobility. Our aircraft in Darwin and Jabiru, the Cessna 210, allow us to accommodate people with limited mobility. Uh, we make sure our tours are as good as possible by considering timing, heat, view, comfort, uh, food preferences and mobility into everything. All right, that's all for me. Um, I'm glad that thanks for your time today. Hope we've been able to learn a little bit about us at Kakadu Air um, and maybe able to work with us in the future. If you have any sort of questions you'd like to ask, um, just get in touch. I've just linked our details below, so feel free to contact us. Great, thanks, Shana. That was really interesting to see what uh, tours you've got on option there. They look amazing. So, um, Gabs, there were no questions come through. Where are they from what I can see? Um, we did just have one come through from Denise asking, do you collect clients from Darwin Hotels for flights? Unfortunately, we don't. We've only got a small team based in Darwin. Our majority of our team is based in Jabiru. Um, so we don't pick up from accommodation in Darwin, but we do pick up from accommodation in Jabiru. So we can pick up from any sort of Jabiru based accommodation or even Coinder Lodge out at Kakadu. Excellent. Thank you. Great. Thanks a lot. Um, and if anyone hasn't picked up Shannon's details there, they can get in touch with me and I can pass those on. Um, so thank you. Next up, we've got Rao Italiano from TFE. Rao, do you want to share your screen? I will. Yep. Just give me one moment. Can you see that okay? We can. Do you just want to make that the full? Yep, just doing it now. Thanks. Okay, how's that? Looks good. Fantastic. Okay, good morning, everybody. Look, um, sorry, my name's uh, Raleigh Italiano, and I'm the Associate Director of Sales for TFE Hotels. For those of you who don't know TFE, um, it stands for Toga Far East. So Toga is a company here based in Australia, and Far East is our joint partners who are based in Singapore. Um, once again, we have a total of six brands here in Australia. Uh, some of you may be familiar with these brands. We have the Adena and Vibe and Travelodge. These are the three hotels that are located in Darwin. And we also have Rendezvous TP Collection. And we have brought in a new brand into Australia called Quincy. Now, the Quincy brand is a brand that's done um, it's part of Far East out of Singapore, and we brought that flavour into Australia, and that hotel is located in Melbourne. But we're talking about Darwin, so I'll move straight ahead. Um, internationally, we have over 70 hotels uh, around Australia, 
Um, we have 10,000 room nights, um, rooms in, the, in, in development. We've got 30 hotels in development at the moment. We opened up nine hotels last year. As mentioned, we have seven brands and we are located in six countries around the world. For Darwin, uh, the hotels are located, both Adina and Vibe are located near the waterfront, whilst the Travelodge uh, is located uh, in central Darwin. Vibe and Adina, so these two hotels are located at the waterfront. Um, they are both um, joined together. So on one side you have the Adena and on the other side you have Vibe Darwin. Now the way it works is that uh, Adena have 121 rooms and Vibe has 120 rooms. As you come into the hotel and you come into reception, uh, the beauty about these two hotels is that you will be able to access all of the uh, facilities which are available to the hotel. So if you're, a, if you're staying at Adena or Vibe, you'll be able to use a pool, which is for both Adena and Vibe guests. You can use the actual curved restaurant, again, for both Adena and Vibe guests, and also the gym, um, which is also available to both Vibe and Adena guests. Now, Adena itself, as I mentioned to you, we have 121, um, we have 121 uh, one, two, and bedroom apartments and studios. Now, the way they work is that um, the, the, uh, the studios have only kitchenettes, while the one and two bedroom apartments, they all have fully self-contained apartments. So therefore, you've got your dishwasher, you've got your um, clothes dryer, there's also a washing machine, all your utensils are there, it's just like walking out of your own apartment where you live and walking into an Adena department with everything that's provided for you. Um, we've got interconnecting rooms. The one and two bedroom apartments have separate lounge and dining and working areas. They have balconies. As I mentioned, they've got a fully equipped kitchen and laundry in the one and two bedrooms and select apartments in the studios as well. The rooms themselves, the studio, which is our leading product, they are 35 square metres. You can either have a studio twin or um, a king. And the one bedroom which you will see here, uh, this is also, um, we go back to that, you can see that there, the rooms, the, the bedrooms on the other side, there is a lounge area, there's a balcony, full kitchen, dining area as well, uh, 36 square metres, so it's got a lot of space. And um, also, as you can see, that's the full kitchen as well. And this is a two bedroom, 60 square meters in total. For Vibe Darwin, as I mentioned again, we have 120 guest rooms in here. This is a fully fledged hotel. So you've got, um, again, all the facilities, as I mentioned to you earlier, that you can use from this hotel. What we have here are guest rooms. Um, they're very similar the whole way through. They've all got uh, flat screens, room safe, individual controls tea and co coffee making facilities, ironing boards, the 24 hour reception. It's got all the facilities that you would normally get from, from a hotel. And same with the Adena. The Adena and Vibe both work the same way. The rooms themselves, the guest room um, is 29 square metres. Uh, this is your leading room type. Um, we do have triples as well in this hotel, as well as kings. So there's plenty of space available for everybody at this location. Um, the one I wanted to talk about was Travelodge Resort Darwin. Now, Travelodge Resort Darwin underwent uh, a refurbishment last year. The whole of the hotel was refurbished. So this is uh, as you walk into the foyer area that you're looking at right now. But the guest rooms, um, the townhouses, so they've all been upgraded. They've been painted. They've been, the shower screens and bathrooms have been put in. We've had new cabinets put in tapers at the mirrors, there's a new lobby, with the restaurant's been done, we've got a new floor new floor put in there, new cabinetry, as well as that's been painted as well. As I mentioned, it's easy, it is located in the Howard Darwin CBD. Um, and it, look, I think that the hotel's looking amazing now, and it was probably good timing for us to get this um, upgraded. And you'll see 
as I'll show you the uh, photos now, um, how good this has come along now. So this is, as I mentioned to you, this is walk into the Travel Luxury Resort Darwin, and this is the reception area, which is also been redone. As we move on, you've got the pool area there. So this has all been resurfaced and redone as well. We have a restaurant and pool bar. Uh, and as I mentioned, the floor room's all been done in this area as well. There's a tree tops restaurant where um, it's located, where it's open for uh, breakfast and dinner. And then the rooms themselves, they are quite large. We've got a gymnasium there, of course, which is accessed by the uh, guests staying at the hotel. And the rooms, very, very well done and appointed. They are 28 square metres for an executive room and also for a guest room. So you've got the choice of the guest, the executive room, which has um, obviously got your a king, king bed there and plenty of space, or your guest room, which we can fit up with three people in this room. Again, 28 square metres, so quite large for a hotel room. I just wanted to show you the townhouse as well because we've got uh, 29 of these as well. Now, as I mentioned to you, um, these, have been, these have been redone totally. Uh, as you walk into the townhouse apartment and you walk up those stairs, the stairs will bring you up to the, to the room. So in this area here, you'll have your little kitchenette. There's a dining area, there's a lounge area as well, you've got two TV screens as well, a lot of space available. And as you walk up uh, the stairs, you will come across your room, which is on the second floor. Uh, and these are 35 square metres. So again, very well appointed very, and very large as well. We also have our Green Touch, which is our commitment to um, our Clean Touch as part of uh, the TFB model. Thanks for your time, everybody. If you've got any questions, um, please let me know. But otherwise, you've got my contact details there and look forward to uh, seeing you. Thanks very much. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. Really interesting. Yeah. Um, nice comment come through from Brad, who had just had a guest stay at the Travel Lodge, who said it was amazing. So that was nice to hear. Um, and for anyone who's been into down to the Darwin waterfront, they'll know that that's the place to be. It's a great location, which is where Rail's got two of his hotels there. So um, I don't think there are any other comments for there, Gabs. No, nope, that was it. Thanks, Brad. It. Great. Thanks, Ralph. Thank you, Rail. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have Tim from Matt Wright, Explore the Wild. Tim, do you want to jump onto the screen? G'day guys, how are you? Hope everyone's well out there. I'll just share my screen here now. Okay. Karen, you got that? Yep, we can see yeah. that. Fantastic. Guys, thank you. I'm Tim Johnson, General Manager of Matt Wright Explore the Wild. We offer a number of experience-based products and accommodation across the top end of the Northern Territory. So I'll run through those with you now. So our products are Tiwi Island Retreat, the Top End Safari Camp, Darwin Adventure Boats, and Explore the Wild. So we have a number of helicopter tours up in the sunny NT. Tiwi Island Retreat is an amazing location set over on the on Bathurst Island, over on the Tiwi Islands. It's an 18-bed uh, style accommodation over there that offers just pristine paradise um, at the top of the NT. We've got certain packages over there that include uh, fishing packages, relaxing packages, um, and just packages just to get away from, from the hustle and bustle in the Northern Territory. You see over there, you've got absolutely pristine and untouched uh, wildlife and, and shorelines over there. And we also work in very, very closely with Tiwi by Design, which is a um, which is a Indigenous community based over at Warramianga and some cultural experiences there. Pricing over there starts at about 4,300 single share and for a family of four up to around about seven grand. So... Um, general package duration is three days and three nights, and it's a light aircraft out of Darwin into the Tiwi Islands. Hey, they're all our different cultural-based um, experiences over there, which is a buggy and tour package, estuary fishing and mud crabbing, 
We've got access to a Aboriginal water hole at a place called Ranku, which is a small community near our lodge over there. So we fly guests into there and have a little packed picnic and romantic lunch afternoon or, or morning dinner. Um, we offer deep sea fishing. We offer a heli fishing explorer package over there and different Tiwi heli fishing adventures. The Tiwi by Design Cultural Tour is extremely popular over there where we actually land a helicopter into Warramianga or a light aircraft, depending on the travel. We go in, we meet a couple of the local artists. We meet a couple of the local guys that put all the art together. Um, and we can also extend that cultural experience out as well. On top of that, we've got the Top End Safari Camp that you're seeing there. They're one of our Lotus Bell tents. So we've got 15 Lotus Bell tents set out in a different part of the Northern Territory out on what they call the Finnish River or Litchfield region. It is an experience-based accommodation and overnight package out there. It is an absolutely bucket list uh, thing to do. Um, we see a lot of people, around about 15,000 people, travel through the, the Safari Camp on either an overnight accommodation or a day tour out there. They'll experience such things such as an airboat ride up into the um, up into the rainforest where you will come into contact with some wild crocodiles. You'll have a scenic flight over the area. Um, you'll have a cruise along Sweets Lagoon, which is very famous around these areas in terms of a massive crocodile called Sweetheart was caught there. And then we do have an extremely large collection of monster crocs that we will take guests out and actually feed these crocodiles, show them a little bit about the crocodiles and teach them a little bit about what we do in terms of looking after them. Um, we do some personalised crocs in the wild tour where we only run very small groups, um, very intimate groups where we do basically the same stuff, but just with smaller groups to get people up close and personal to, to see that experience. Next, our, our newest product is Darwin Adventure Boats. Darwin Harbour is an amazing spot. Um, we've got some beautiful hotels down there, but we run an airboat and a jet boat tour out of Darwin Harbour. So that takes into account a lot of fun uh, out on the water, plus it gives a little bit of history um, on what happened around Darwin Region and Darwin Harbour in terms of the bombings of Darwin. Over and above that, we run a certain amount of exclusively designed helicopter tours to take in everything up in the top end. So they're things like pub crawls, um, birthday experiences. We go into Litchfield National Park where we actually land at a couple of the uh, waterfalls and go for a swim over there. Duration of those are around about four and a half hours and average price on those tours are around about $2,000 per person. There is some um, tours where we do stop along at, at certain pubs and pub crawls along the way, but a lot of those are catered to the individual. Our heli fish is an amazing product that we have and extremely popular. We would have around about seven helicopters in circulation at any one time. Um, and the heli fishing, basically you meet up in the morning, you meet one of our experienced um, helicopter pilots and fishing guides, and you track throughout the Northern Territory chasing fish like the ever elusive million dollar barramundi um, and other fish in the in the saltwater region as well. You'll see some amazing stuff from the, from the up in the air such as brumbies, wild pigs, and other, other animals up in the sunny Northern Territory. Um, we've introduced the Great Northern series. Great Northern is, is one of our um, product partners with this one. So we will go to a number of pubs throughout the NT, stop in, have a few Great Northerns, um, and basically deliver it home in your R44 helicopter. So that's a brief run through on our products in the in the sunny Northern Territory. So to go over those again, we've got the Tiwi Island Retreat, which is over on the Tiwi Islands, the Top End um, Safari Camp, which is in the Finnis River region, which is accommodation and tour based events. And also we've got the Darwin Adventure Boats and Heli Boats. So guys, thank you. Get up to the NT. It's beautiful up here at the moment. And uh, thanks for everything. Thanks, Tim. That was great. There's some great packages there. Um, and the Tiwi Islands retreat looks amazing from the photos I've seen. So um, let's hope that uh, the, our agents today have some clients interested. So thank you, everybody. Um, I don't think there were any questions come through there, were there, Gabs? No, no questions there, but I can say from first-hand experience, the Matt Wright Explore the Wild <laughs> um, experiences are phenomenal. <laughs> Thanks, Gab. Appreciate it. No that. worries, Tim. <laughs>
All right, thank you so much for joining us today. That's it from us. Um, thanks to our operators for coming along and presenting and to everybody for taking time out to join us. Um, if you have any questions, please get in touch. Um, I'll just quickly put my um, screen back up there so you can got my details, but please feel free to get in touch if you have any questions and uh, we'll see you all again next time. So thanks very much, everybody. Why is it not working? <laughs>